hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl ij if this is your first time being here my name is ij and i'm pleased to meet you and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back for this video so this is the day of thanksgiving i decided to bring you guys along just to show you what we did for thanksgiving and how the day went so when i got up in the morning the first thing i decided to do was do a little skincare routine so that's what i'm doing right now and just so you know all the products that i'm going to be using i'm going to show them on the screen so if you're interested in any of them just pause that part and you can maybe write down the name or something if you're interested in in the product so that's what i'm going to be doing throughout this part and just so you know if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys i need all the help i need all your assistance i need all your support please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to turn on the bell button just so that when i upload you'll be notified thank you so much for all your support those who have been able to help me in one way or another thank you so much i appreciate each and every one of you so um yeah let's just watch this part i'm just going to fast forward most of it and just a little note for those who put on makeup it is advisable to have a little skincare routine because the makeup that we use can easily clog your pores so if you don't have a skincare routine or something that is a good cleansing routine you can easily break out so it's advisable that if you're putting on makeup or that foundation and concealer and all those other things it's good to have a little skincare routine where you can cleanse your skin cleanse your pores as much as possible just so that it stays nice and fresh you don't want to break out just because you're not taking care of your skin so um if you're interested in any skincare products there's so many skincare products out there in the market neutrogena has a very good line clinic has a very good line it's just that clinic is kind of expensive so if you don't want to splurge on that you can try neutrogena they have a very good um good skincare line same as um l'oreal they also have a good skincare line most of the products that i use here i got them from my boxy charm um, subscription so uh, most of the products you see me using in my videos my skincare products i did i got them from boxy charm the only thing i didn't get from boxy charm are the clinic products so i do buy my clinic product so if you want your skin to look as fresh and glowy as much as possible less um less breakouts maybe you can try clinic if you have the money to splurge but if you don't there are other affordable skincare products out there that you can you can try so on thanksgiving morning i did not put any makeup on my skin at all i just did my skincare routine and that was it for the whole day, day i didn't have time for any makeup you can see my skin look so glowy and you know fresh and that's what i love about skincare routine so when i was done upstairs i decided to throw on some jean pants and um, a regular top and I head downstairs. Thank God my husband had made breakfast, so I just sat down and I ate. He made um, eggs and French fries, and I had iced tea with that. And I went through my phone, wish Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving to those who had sent me a message and all of that. And um, just a little note in there, husbands, like it makes us feel happier just knowing that when we are not able to do something you guys are able to do it like it goes a long way you know just me coming downstairs and seeing that he had already made breakfast like that went a long way that made my day even go like my day went much better than i expected honestly so um yeah so little things like this makes us very happy so if you want to find a way to make your wife or keep your wife happy do those little things that she doesn't expect like it goes a long way just knowing that you can come downstairs and not go through the breakfast process makes her feel like okay she has a support team then for her to clean the kids do all the cleaning at home take care of you and to take care of herself it's a lot of work so just knowing that she has somebody like you who can chip in when she's not able to makes her feel like okay this is something that i can look forward to every day it goes a long way trust me so when i was done eating it was time to cook the thanksgiving food so on thanksgiving day we decided to um, make seafood boy and the turkey it was a process but i'm so happy that i did this 
it was a learning process for me because this was my first time doing it and I've seen this on social media like all the lobster and crab legs and clam and corn and everything in a bag like it looks so good and I hope it tastes good so we decided to do that for Thanksgiving and we all loved it like I said before this was my first time doing it I'm just going to share with you guys my experience so we had um, lobster we had crab legs we had clam we had corn we had potatoes we had um, shrimp as well and um, a couple of other stuff that we added and some eggs so um, if you want to see how we got this together just keep watching you can see the turkey we did spice the turkey the day before so we put all the seasoning and everything in it the day before then in the morning I decided to throw in some um, what that was butter and um, the bell pepper the green the yellow and the red bell pepper and just stuff that inside just so that it keeps the moisture as much as possible I don't like to eat um, turkey when it's really dry so that was what I did so once that was completely done I decided to put that in the oven because turkey takes a little time to cook I think we cooked it for about three hours so that's me I opened the oven and I just shove it in there I timed it for three hours for two hours so once the two hours was all done I brought it out then I put in the sweet potatoes that took an extra hour so all together the turkey took about three hours to cook so once I had the turkey in the oven I decided to go ahead and prep the things that I needed for the seafood so I'm just prepping the corn right now I decided to wait to use fresh corn I prefer fresh corn than the um, than the frozen corn that they have at another store this one tastes better for me and I just like the sweetness that comes with it so I'm just cutting it in little um, bite sizes just so that it can fit in the bag with every other thing that I have to put in the bag so once that was done I assembled everything together those are the crab legs I bought the lobster I bought the shrimp so while going through this process I learned a lot of things trust me like I said this was my first time so I learned it <laughs> through the process so the crab legs they were already pre-boiled so that was already cooked so what I did was I decided to boil the lobster for about 10 minutes my younger sister had told me that if I do that um, the spice and the seasoning gets right into it that way so that was what I decided to do I boiled the, um, the lobster for about 10 minutes with the spice and everything in it before I started putting it in the bag so um, the bags the oven bag that I'm using I got it from Walmart and those are the oven bags you go to Walmart at your oven bag and you cannot miss it they'll give it to you and I did double the bag at the end of the day just in case the crab legs poked to the back or something so I'm just putting everything in the bag I put at least a good quantity of each I had the crab legs the lobster the shrimp the corn the sweet potato I had some sausage as well like everything went into the bag and once I had everything in the bag I decided to spice up everything so if you want to do something like this if you want to do the seafood seafood boil I will advise that you boil or you cook the potatoes and the corn a little bit just before you put everything in the bag because lobster shrimp and all those other seafood they don't take long to cook you shove them in the oven at least 40 to 45 minutes your food is done so I didn't know that about you know this process because what when I was watching on YouTube they said put everything in a bag put in the oven for 45 minutes guys I put for 45 minutes the corn was not cooked the potatoes was not cooked so I had to leave them in the oven for at least an hour and that made the lobster I, I kind of overcooked the lobster kind of but hey it was still good at the end of the day so if you're thinking of doing this make sure you cook the potatoes and the corn a little bit before you start to put them in the bag that's just an advice because I learned you know as I was doing as well so I don't want you guys to make the same mistake so when it comes to seafood seasoning it's everything if you don't have a good seasoning in there it's not going to taste good trust me guys so um the seasoning i use i think that i like to cook with so i already know how they taste and how it's going to taste in the food 
and that was what I did. So I used the bouillon, I also used paprika, that spice right there, if you guys know suya spice, that's what I added. I also added suya spice in it because I like the taste of suya spice. Do not forget your salt. But the main spice or the main, the main ingredient that you need for seafood is the paprika. Paprika is the thing that gives it that that um, red color. You need paprika. I'm just adding chicken spice in there. I just added the chicken spice in there. Then that's paprika. I added two spoons of the paprika in there just because I wanted it to have that red color. So um, I also added some butter, a couple of just some little um, chunks of butter. I added it in there as well just so that it keeps the moisture as much as possible and makes it nice and moist if you know what I mean. So once I had all the spice, I decided to just, you know, move it together just so that everything can mix up properly in the bag. Once that was done, I just tie up the bag and put aside and I go to the next one. So all together we had about five bags at the end of the day. And what I decided to do, that was just one bag I used, I decided to double up the bag just so that, you know, if anything pokes through like the um, the crab legs, you know, they have little spikes. If you poke the bag, it's not going to um, cause any um, any of the fluid to drain out or something. So I decided to double up the bag. So that's me tying the bag right now. I just set it aside and I did the other bags the same way. I'm sure some of you guys will be wondering where is the eggs, where do the eggs come in? So what I did with the eggs is I boiled the egg before, peeled it up, then I throw it in the bag once it was already cooked. So you boil your eggs, peel it, whatever you have to do, then once your food was cooked or once everything was done, you put it in the uh, you put it in the final product, you know, and just mix it up with all the spikes, then you can start to eat. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do another bag. Just putting everything in there, you know. At the end of the day, do it the way you want to. Whatever you like to eat, just fill up the bag as much as you can and then put in your spices. Whatever spice you love to taste in your food, put that in there. If you did see me, I did add it. I added some green spices. What I mean by green spices is just um, parsley, cilantro, um, ginger, garlic, all grind together. So I also added that in it because I love the taste of that spice. Yep. So that is the soya spice I'm putting in right now. If you know soya, you know what I'm talking about. That is the bouillon. That is Maggi. For those who don't know bouillon, that is Maggi, but it's just powder in a powder form. That is salt. I put a teaspoon of everything. Then that is the chicken spice. I love the chicken spice, so I just added that in it just to give it a little more flavor. And that's paprika. I did two spoons of the paprika because I wanted that red color to peep through. And that's the green spice I was talking about. So that's just bit, um, parsley, cilantro, garlic, ginger, all mixed together. I normally do this. If you guys want to see how I mix my spices up and put it in the freezer, let me know. I can do a video on that. Like it's so easy. Once you mix everything and put it in the freezer, it's easy for you to use when you want to cook. Then that is butter. I'm putting butter in it right now. Once that was done, I mix up everything as well. Mix, mix, mix. Let everything spread in. Let all the spice touch everything in the bag. Once that was done, I decided. Then I added. I now doubled up the bag and put aside or set aside. So once everything was mixed, you have a final product right there. We had five bags in total. So um, yeah, that was a lot. There you see it right there, five bags. You see I doubled up the bag. So double up the bag just so that nothing spills out, if anything, if it's an accident at the end of the day. Yep, so those are the five bags. I'm going to shove them in the oven and you'll see the final product. That is the turkey right there. So that was after two hours. I bought out the turkey, then I put in the sweet potatoes. When I put in the sweet potatoes, I did use the green spice as well. I just spice up the thing and put in the oven again for an extra hour. 
and it was just perfect it was perfect and i also added broccoli to it as well that's another angle of the sweet potatoes and the turkey and you know the juice from the turkey like saturated the sweet potatoes so it was just so perfect just oh my god this was so sweet so that was after three hours the turkey everything was cooked i'm just separating the sweet potatoes right now from the turkey i'm putting that in a serving dish then i'm going to carry the turkey it was heavy i had to use two forks at the end of the day carry the turkey and i put that in a tray so that is the seafood right there i'm so sorry guys i forgot something happened i don't know how come it didn't hit me i didn't take a video when i was bringing out the seafood from the oven so that's just a picture of the seafood how it looked and it tastes like oh my god this was heaven everybody loved it we had fun we enjoyed it my husband was like oh this is the best food you've ever eaten it was just the perfect thing we chose for thanksgiving and we all had fun eating with just cracking the crab legs and the lobster and everything it was so perfect so um that's the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy this video i knew it's kind of long but hey there were different sections in the video if you did like it please leave a comment down in the comment section below and please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already and do not forget to thumbs up, the, thumbs up this video remember that you are the original there is no photocopy there is no counterfeit of you take good care of yourself and stay blessed i will talk to you guys in another video bye guys